It's crazy to see how much could change in 365 days. Although 2024 feels like such a filler episode, being 21 years old was a beast I had to conquer. All the worst things I thought would happen actually happened. So here I am. A good friend of mine, Jello, asked me a question the other day that genuinely shocked me. When was the last time you have ever apologized to yourself? Think about that. Last year, my imposter syndrome was at its highest. I still am a bit hard on myself, but not as intense as it once was. So I would like to apologize for hurting myself so much that it affected some of my relationships and myself. The past year, I was able to find my own identity and peace within myself, which I thought was once impossible. Took a lot of nights forgiving myself for the past, but I made new friends, made new memories, and joined a community that makes home feel more welcoming. Surprisingly, I enjoy going to the movies alone. I really do enjoy being behind the camera. I'll go in front of it if the story calls out for me. I recognize the flaws I have and I'm working on them. I know what I tolerate and what I don't. And for once, I finally value myself. Now, I won't act like I have everything figured out at 22 years old. I still am broke and winging out this whole freelance thing, but I am happy. I'm getting better at balancing my work-life schedule. I've been saying no. I've been writing my feature film script for seven months and I am nowhere near done, but I'm still taking my time with it. I work at a part-time job that I'm pretty happy at. The plan was to move to LA in two years because damn, I really do miss being there, but the financial situation says otherwise and I'm okay with that. I'll be back, eventually. Life won't get any easier and there's beauty behind that. And just like you, I'm pushing forward, so. Here's to more heartbreak and embracing love from others and myself. Here is to a wonderful 22.